okay, just start with these rules, which are not rules, yeah. uh, but all together we just talk about them. Uh, first. He, yeah, first is uh, don't film if you can live without filming. Of course, it's not my idea. Uh, originally, it was, uh, it sounds different. Left our story said once, don't write if you can live without writing. And, and then I, I wanted to repeat it, but during translation, they lost uh, about Tolstoy, and now it looks like I said it, unfortunately not. But I, I agree with Tolstoy, don't film if you don't, if you can live without filming. There are too many filmmakers, even here, can you imagine like so many filmmakers around us, and so many films. Even 20 years ago, every filmmaker was brilliant, unusual, and, uh, and uh, I would say unique person like Fellini, uh, Antonioni, or Tarkovsky, or Werther, or uh, Yuri Sivins. They were, they, they were like unbelievable people, you know. And that's why tomorrow, today we, so many filmmakers, we make it obvious. We make it same like a taxi driver or, or I don't, I, I, I don't hate taxi drivers, but uh, I think it's, we need some, Probably it will be much better but if you will not talk now. Yeah. We, we just Tisha. we just start with Tisha. Yeah. We, um, this film is possible to talk about many things. Mm -hmm. This film was made uh, especially against production system in in Europe. Um, I just uh, can you imagine you are a young filmmaker and you call to someone to to commission an editor and you said I I have an idea to film from my window. What, what they will say. They will never give you money. Even you are famous for making, they will never give you money if you just say, I will film from my window. But, uh, and then I said, okay, I will do it. And anyway, you will buy it. And I just make it without any money. And, uh, just because I, I like to, to see what's going on from my window. And, um, yeah. And because you're, you're on cameraman, as always, so you just can film. It's a pity I'm cameraman, but it is. Like <laughs> yes, but I mean you can film whenever you like. But uh, I don't believe people need film. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is it okay? Yeah. So when did you, let's say, realize you were making a documentary? When you first started to shoot the first shots of, of Tisha? Uh, this, this is actually the first shot of Tisha, and it was, I, I started to make it uh, not because I wanted to make film, it was just nice to see. Now, just look what, what happened. She didn't stop. It's mentality, you know. We Russians, we, we, we can love, but we, we never respect other people. We can love other people, but. We never respect them. We, she didn't stop, and this is, I guess, documentary is very good for, for if you feel mentality. If you're a beginner, for example, I, I really s suggest you to start to think about mentality of people around you, and because documentary is best, best way to to feel mentality. Okay, and your own rules applying to this movie. Oh, no, almost. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, if you, if you, if you have idea in the beginning, then it, uh, this this is another story. If you look to the history of art, it's always must be period when it start and grow up, and then it's like collapse. I guess film industry and film and cinema it's now in collapse. We have we are waiting for something new because. If you know, in the, now we want to say something, and, and that's why we have a lot of interview, we have a lot of talking, and we know what we want to say. You called me like uh, last day, and you said you, you were in Russia, and you, you make interview. Why did you make interview? Why? Well, because I'm a journalist working for radio, as, and I did I something see. for radio, which is a yeah. completely other genre, of course, mm -hmm. of work. Yeah. But we, yeah. we use uh, this system to do it for cinema. I don't, yeah. I don't really believe we, we shall do it. No? no. Not even for because television? Not no. Mm -hmm. no. You, 
my, my feeling is what we did, we make a monster from TV. First of all, we are always pleased when TV take our films. And, but then in, in years, in years, commission and editors became real monsters. They, they became crucial point in our in business. Before it was filmmaker who is a crucial person in cinema. Filmmaker who knows what he wants to show. Filmmaker who, who has idea. And then probably if he made a good film, TV wants to show it. And then we, we're glad. But then we start to make a forum and then commission and editors in the beginning they wanted to support us and they wanted to show our best films and even to, to give us some money. But now we, we, it happens something strange. They became more sim important than me, than we are. And they tell us what they, they want us to, sh to film. And they tell us how they, uh, they want us to film. And now filmmakers are not important anymore. Commission and editors are important. That's why I start to make this film without them. I just said, you need only eyes to make film. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yeah, I think so. Well, if you make a film like this, yes, I do agree. Of course, sometimes yeah. you need <laughs> money, but uh, for the beginners, I always said, can you imagine you have, for example, you have one milliard or billiard, I don't know, how, how much do you need? You, do you have your own money, like one million? Do mm, you have? No. How much do you, I'm sorry, how much do you, <laughs> <laughs> just give well. me approximately. <laughs> Well, oh, something okay. like 50,000. Okay. Well, we can make. Yeah. yeah. Can you, do you agree to spend your own money to make your own film? Or you, you, you go to institution to ask money? Uh -huh. what, what, is, what you will do? Will you spend your, for example, you have one million. Do you agree to spend your million to make this film? If you really need it. Yeah, well. Will you? I know. Personally, no. not. not. No. That's but I, I know people who will, yes. Yeah. That's why I suggest <laughs> yeah. for the beginners, yeah. if you really agree to spend your own money, yeah. just make it once. Yeah. Then you will feel, do you really need it? Do you really need to be a filmmaker? For example, um, because it's easy to take money from, I don't know, from TV station. And, yeah. and for example, I have a ne Well, not, not even that is easy nowadays. No, I don't from, say yeah. follow me. I don't yeah. say do what you <laughs> mm. uh, normally do. Uh, you know, I have an, how would say, in my house there is one small boy and he's always drawing, drawing on and everywhere, any corner, on the table, on the napkins, on the, when he's on the street, he is drawing on the, on the foot, yes, asphalt. Yes. Every time, every mm. time, every time. And he's like, 12 years old, and there is no any place, all his walls in his house, and nobody asked him to do it, and nobody teach him, and, uh, <coughs> he, and I didn't, I forgot to say, he has no hand, he has no hands, he, he do it like that, mm -hmm. or with, with legs, and this is example, of course it's very obvious, but it's for example for me. If, if you really need to film, you will do it even without money, even everybody say don't do it, even everybody said you are not talented, and if you really feel you, you, you want to film, you will anyway do it. Mm. That's what I feel. I, yeah. 